everyone, it's Steven. Today I am at the 2022 Chicago Auto Show. Just wanted to show you guys some of the highlights from the show this year. All right, so let's get started with the first exhibit I'm next to, which is Subaru. They have a very nice, fancy exhibit with this treehouse and all this climbing stuff here. And of course, you've got these Subaru Loves Pets with some really, really cute puppies here. So I really have to give Subaru credit for putting on a really awesome exhibit. Look at this backdrop, really gorgeous here. You've got the star of the show, which is going to be that 2023 Subaru Solterra EV. They've got one on display here. We've also got one over there. All right, here's a closer look at that Solterra. I do find it a little odd that there's not a front in the front here. I feel like they could have used the space a bit more nicely there. You've got some cool EV badges, decent wheels. This really just looks like the Toyota BZ4X, honestly, which we'll see later. Um, but yeah, otherwise you can see all of that cool camping equipment at the top there. And the back just really looks like a Prius in my opinion, but not a bad look. You can see a decent infotainment system here. I believe they say this is the 11.6 inch screen here. Looks okay. I'm not really a huge fan of the interior. I still think it looks a little low class. And right here, you've got the 2022 Outback Wilderness with the really cool gold accents everywhere. You've got a whole tent. <laughs> Pretty interesting. And here we've got the new WRX. Obviously a very important car for Subaru here. Still not the biggest fan of all of the plastic trim on the side of the wheels, everything at the bottom. Looks a little weird. The interior definitely looks a lot better with that new infotainment system. But honestly, I just don't like the look. Not my favorite look. I think the old one looks a lot nicer. But people have said the new WRX is a fantastic car to drive. And making our way over to the Ford exhibit, you've got Bronco Mountain right here. There's also the competitor Jeep Mountain over there in the distance. Very cool exhibit here where you can be inside of a Mach-E GT. Super cool. Ford is doing a lot of stuff here. All right, and here's a pretty important car right here, the new Ford Maverick. Obviously doing very, very well. Some nice color options here. Very affordable new truck from Ford. All right, this gorgeous yellow Mach-E right here. Love those wheels with the Brembo red brake calipers. They're doing a little demo right here. It's very, very cool. Here's one that we can get into. Very nice infotainment system. We've got a Ford GT over here as well. If you guys remember from the auto show last year, we do have another star here, the F-150 Lightning. Very, very cool new car coming up here from Ford. And then of course you've got all of the different Broncos and their variants. So we have that orange Bronco Raptor in the distance, but right here is going to be the brand new just announced Bronco Everglades edition. Love this color. This is even more off-roady than the Sasquatch. Very cool graphics on the side. Gorgeous color. Love the Bronco in general. And here's this nice blood orange Raptor. Very cool. Open air. Can't imagine all that power and being in and not having the doors on. Couldn't find the exhaust tips, which is kind of interesting. I was hoping for some cool quad exhaust tips like the Rubicon 392 has, but love these orange seat belts and these accents. Looks fantastic. Of course, the amber headlights are also a huge highlight. Really cool, reminds me just of the Kia Telluride. Right next to Ford, we've got Toyota. Largest exhibit here. You've got lots of Supras. Various Supras with someone with the crazy wing in the back. Don't love those red wheels though. So many different cars in this exhibit. A very cool Camry TRD. Still one of the weirdest cars, but nonetheless very cool. Going over, you've got the best selling SUV, proudly proclaiming from the RAV4, of course. And this is the 2023 BZ4X. Looks similar to that Solterra that we just saw, right? I feel like this one might look a little better. I don't know if it's just the color scheme, but I do like this one a little better than the Solterra. Of course, these are just prototypes, so we'll see what they look like when they actually hit production. But yeah, very nice looking car.
You've got this crazy concept vehicle right here, the Toyota Rhombus. You probably would be you really wonder what this will look like when it goes into production, if it ever does. A hugely important vehicle for Toyota here, the 2023 Sequoia. I love it. Look at that. It's gorgeous. I absolutely love this vehicle. I think Toyota has done a fantastic job with the redesign. This is, of course, going to be the top trim capstone. You can see that badging on that side. Yeah, looks super cool. Very, very excited to see this on the streets. You've also got the new Tundra, also a very important vehicle for Toyota, obviously. Moves tons of units. Very, and you've got interesting things in the back on all of these. Huge infotainment screen. Very, very nice. I absolutely love this color for the TRD Pro trim here. This one's locked, so unfortunately we can't go inside. You can see the pricing on the 2022 Tundras. Very attractive car. You guys can see here, this is the Tundra circuit here, showcasing a lot of different parts of the Tundra, like towing this giant boat. Very cool exhibit. These exhibits always pr have pretty long lines, so I make sure you either get here early or stay late to get a chance to do one of these cool circuits. All right, next up, we've got this gorgeous orange Corvette. This is the Z Z06 trim, all brand new for 2023. I love the carbon fiber wheels. Probably pretty hard to keep clean. Gorgeous orange metallic brake calipers. Orange seat belts to match, such a cool car. Coming up here is the 2023 Blazer RS. Exterior refresh here. Honestly, it doesn't look too different from the old one in my opinion. A little sleeker, but Really, the interior changes are the important part. You get a bigger 10-inch screen. Very important because the Blazer, I feel like, has had great design language, but honestly, the inside has never been that impressive, and now they're finally remedying that. So this year's auto show in general has been very similar to last year's because there's only been like seven months passed since the 2021 auto show, which I'll link you my uh, vlog right here if you want to check that one out. But the only new car that I think really is worth mentioning is the new 2024 Silverado. You've got that awesome blue E to kind of accent the EV styling, of course. And I mean, this car just looks very impressive. Fantastic range, so much torque on the high sporty trims. Very cool setup. Looks like an overall fantastic vehicle. I'm very curious to see who, uh, you know, chooses the F-150 Lightning versus the Silverado EV. They both seem like amazing vehicles. Zodran has some pretty cool cars here. You've got the Durango 392 SRT. You've got the Ram TRX. I just wish they could fire this up so you could hear the revs for that. I love crazy performance trucks. It's so cool. You have a very, very small Alfa Romeo exhibit. You've got the Giulia Quadrifoglio and also the Stelvio Quadrifoglio in this gorgeous green color. I'm obsessed with this color. It looks fantastic. You've got also a very tiny one Fiat car in the back. That's all they have here. And right next to that, we can see Camp Jeep. That is crazy, 28 feet. It was 18 feet before and now it's 28 feet. Look at that. That is so cool. Very impressive Jeep's capabilities here. They did show a Grand Cherokee going up that incline as well. It looks crazy, and look at the line, obviously. Tons of people here. Seems like a fun roller coaster ride, honestly. <laughs> and it's so cool because they're showing off, you know, the Gladiator, the Rubicon, the Grand Cherokee, all these different vehicles. Look at that, it's crazy. All right, let's watch them go up that crazy incline. Got a cool Gladiator Mojave here. Look at that, it's crazy. Very, very popular car here, the Grand Wagoneer. Love this midnight blue color with these black accents everywhere. Gorgeous car. I mean, seriously, Jeep really knocked it out with this. I think this will be a very, very popular car for people who can afford this, obviously. I definitely expect to see a lot of these instead of Escalades and Navigators in the future. And this one comes to a pretty hefty price tag, but also you get such a cool interior. 
This right here is the new Grand Cherokee 4XE. You've got that hybrid engine again. Very, very cool. Fantastic rear seat entertainment. Great proportions, love the color. Really nice updated tech with that new infotainment screen. I expect this to be a very big hit as well. Moving on to Hyundai, we've got some cool N-line cars here. The very cool Kona N. I love this. Look at those wheels. I love them. Very, very cool car. I have heard this is so much fun. I would love to drive one of these one day. I just love the colors for these with the red accents and the light blue. You've got the Elantra N right here too. I, I love this. Looks fantastic. You can fit kids in the trunk. You've got the Veloster N here as well. Love the colors. Fantastic. The Veloster has always been one of my favorite cars. Weird three-door cars, but also high performance. Super cool. You've got the 2022 Hyundai Ioniq 5 here. A few different color choices, obviously. Honestly, interior is not my favorite. Let's take a closer look here. The wheels are pretty cool. Don't love the interior though, honestly. I do like this color though. The wheels, look at those crazy wheels. Here's the same vehicle. The trunk down and also in the gray color. I like the gray a bit more, even though the light blue has been kind of their press color. Of course, you've got the Sonata, Elantra, Santa Fe, Tucson, your general lineup of pretty popular Hyundais. Of course, they've been doing fantastic. You've got the Santa Cruz over there. Very cool new truck. Very, very, very popular. Lots of people like looking at that one. The venue right here. And Hyundai has really done a great job with showcasing these new cars. We've got the Nexo here. This one is a really cool one to see. They're only available in California right now. Fuel cell hydrogen powered SUV. Very cool car. Really don't know if it will ever make it in the industry, but obviously a very cool idea. With so many new trucks coming out, it's very interesting seeing how the Santa Cruz will compete with things like the Maverick, Tundra, obviously. When the, when the Tacoma gets redesigned, that will be a very interesting competitor as well. Really like the colors for them. Very unique. Here is the Nissan exhibit. Titan right here, Frontiers over there. They have a lot of different cool trims here. They kind of compete to see which one is the coolest. And we have trivia coming up on the hour. So come on and stick around. Got the new Pathfinder over there in a gorgeous forest green color there. Yeah. See the Lincoln exhibit with all the flowing gold. Of course, the fantastic Rogue, great new vehicle. Nissan really has knocked it out of the park with all the new redesigns, but of course the most interesting one here is going to be the Aria. Still pre-production units, so don't really know what it's going to look like when it actually hits production. You've got some interesting wheels. Don't love the front, kind of hope they change a little bit of this before it actually goes on production. It's going to be a very important car for them to compete with things like the Solterra, the BZ4X, obviously. Here's a very cool Navigator black label. The Lincoln Navigator is honestly one of the coolest cars I've ever driven. Such a fantastic car, really has everything. Great presence, gorgeous styling, up-to-date tech, fantastic interior and ride quality, surprisingly fast. Such a cool car. And right next to Lincoln, you've got Volkswagen, not too much to show off, of course. You do have this really cool green Arteon. I love it with these yellow brake calipers. Looks very, very cool. And a very important car that we weren't able to check out last year is this 2022 Golf R. Heard many, many great things about how this, way, how this car drives. Look at those cool seats. But everyone says the infotainment system is kind of a mess. Unfortunate. It does have a six-speed manual though. 
here's the new 2022 Lexus IS500. Such an important car because it is probably going to be the last naturally aspirated V8 ever. <laughs> very, very cool performance car here. 472 horsepower, 5 liter V8. Love this vehicle. Very cool new GX. Looks very rugged with the same color scheme you would expect in something like a Tundra. New infotainment system looks quite nice. I really like this color. We've got the forest green with the blacked out wheels. Very, very cool car. Here's the UX. And then, of course, the very, very important vehicle right here. We've got the NX350 trim. Love the light bar in the back. Very important vehicle. We've got the gigantic 14.5 inch infotainment system right there. I always have a few LC500s here to kind of show off the sporty side of Lexus. And then you've got the new LX. Wow. It looks better in person. We've got a gorgeous setup. I'm not sure I love the double infotainment system setup. I feel like it looked pretty bad in Infinity. It looks pretty bad in this vehicle, but wow, does that look imposing. <laughs> Typical of Chicago Auto Shows, you've got the Supercar Gallery right here, sponsored by Wintrust. Some Lamborghinis, I love the Urus over there. It's very, very cool. Green seems to be a very popular color this year. <laughs> Lots of very cool cars here. BMW always shows off their coolest cars here. We've got an M5 CS right here. Nice styling, carbon fiber everywhere. Oh, they got it then this very important car here, the X5. Obviously a huge seller from BMW. Kind of wish they had a Vermilion edition here. That'd be really cool to see. And then here, the star. IXM60, just announced actually. Sporty version. And you have a new M logo for, I guess, their electric vehicles. I like that. Can't wait to start seeing those on non-M vehicles. <laughs> I feel like... The M logo is probably one of the most uh, vandalized. Interesting rear. I like it. Cool wheels. Very cool interior here as well. Long touchscreen display. Pretty standard. Nice interior as expected. Got an X3 M40i, the 2022 refresh. Looks pretty nice. And to wrap things up, guys, we've got the Kia exhibit. Notice this year we were missing quite a few things. Honda Acura completely absent. No word from Infiniti, even though Nissan was here. No Audi, Porsche, or Mercedes. Really unfortunate. I really wanted to check out some of those vehicles. Got the EV6, very cool car. Probably not the greatest interior. Mach-E definitely looks nicer. Here's another EV6 in white. I like this color a lot, like the rear styling. I feel like the infotainment is not my favorite. Kia, just like Hyundai, really a huge fan of their new cars. The new Stinger is awesome. You get a cool Stinger driving experience right here. The new Sorento, very gorgeous car. Of course, the Telluride, the Celluride. Nightfall Edition looks fantastic. We've got the really cool Kia Concept EV9. Really reminds me of the Rivian R1T. Or R1S, I guess, for the SUV that's coming out. Very interesting triangular, triangular wheels. Kind of trippy. We've got the Carnival here. Don't call it a minivan. It's their MPV. Multi-purpose vehicle. Very gorgeous interior. And then the real star here is going to be the new Sportage. 2023 Sportage was announced quite a while ago, but seeing it in person is impressive. I like it. Kind of takes styling cues from the Seltos and from the Sorrento brother. And I'm very excited to see this on the streets. It looks very slick. I like this cold metallic gray color here. Very important vehicle in Kia's lineup, obviously, competing with things like the RAV4, CRV. Going to be important that this car is 
very nice. And of course, the styling cues are very similar to its Korean counterparts. And uh, I mean, who would take a CRV right now over this? All right, so that's pretty much it for this year's auto show. I feel like it's been getting smaller. Obviously, this one uh, was only seven months after the last one, so I didn't expect to see too many new cars. Silverado EV, the new Sportage, those are some of the huge standouts for me. Um, but, you know, I feel like this year not having Land Rover, Range Rover, Jaguar, Audi, Porsche, Mercedes, right? Honda, Acura. It's interesting how many car brands were absent. And uh, I really hope this isn't a trend that continues. I kind of hope it's just a COVID thing right now. But obviously, still a super great show to go to. I had a blast, and I really hope you guys enjoyed checking out these cars. All right, bye, guys.